Guten Tag and Willkommen YouTube, this is Fan of Gaming, and today I have something a little bit different. As you can see on the screen, it's called Space Pirates and Zombies, or Spaz for all you hipsters. Uh, it's an interesting little indie game, I find it quite fun. So uh, let me just turn the volume up, because it's a little bit low right now. And uh, we'll go ahead and start a new game. And here's the Galaxy Generation. You can see it's a pretty big game. You don't really know how long each one of these lasts, but it can last quite a while. I'm gonna up the star count a bit. 250 should work. And we'll generate until we find a good one. I'm told it can be very difficult to find a fair, uh, like, level progression thing. But uh, this one actually looks pretty good. We'll go from 1 to 5, and then we can go 6, 7, 8, 10, 10, 12, 14. Yeah, this will work. So, uh, once I press start game, it should have a cutscene. I'll just go ahead and let you guys watch that. Nope, oh, loading screen first. Hmm. Now, I meant to do a blind run of this game. Uh, I just wanted to do the tutorial first, so I did the tutorial, and then it was just so much fun that I kept going. So, I'm going to know what I'm doing for the first, maybe, three episodes of this LP. But afterwards, it should be rather fun to watch. This first episode will probably be a little bit slow because of all the cutscenes and dialogue. And I'm not going to skip the dialogue, but I will go through it pretty quickly. I'll, If you want, you can pause the screen and read it, but I'm not going to read it out loud or anything because there's quite a bit of dialogue. Man, these loading screens take forever, don't they? Oh, it's a very big game, so it's quite fair. Now, it does have a demo, by the way. I'll leave a link to the uh, the game's website, and if you want, you can check it out. Play the demo if you want. You can buy the game. It's $15 right now. It's 25% off of what the price will be whenever it's out of beta. But uh, in my humble opinion, I think it's thoroughly worth $15. I find it quite fun. I probably should have skipped this loading screen, but... Oh well. I'll make it up to you. I'll make the video a little bit longer just for that. Alright, here we go. Cutscene, sort of. Space is a vast and desolate frontier, covering a seemingly infinite distance. Even the speed of light is dwarfed by the unimaginable scale of our galaxy. It took nearly 250 years to bridge the void between Earth and its closest neighboring star. Mankind had mastered the folding of space-time, but relied on the use of warp gates. Massive drone ships journeyed through deep space for centuries, deploying pairs of warp gates which allowed instantaneous travel between connections. Warpgate travel had not become commonplace until the discovery of a stable element, number 126. This element contained bizarre transmutable properties, allowing it to be reconfigured into different forms of matter. This made it the most valuable and sought-after commodity in the universe. Mankind quickly became completely dependent on element 126, which the first miners named Rez. Due to the increasing demand for Rez, the Warpgate network became privatized. Anyone with ample funding was able to deploy new and unregistered warp gates. Like a new gold rush, convoys of miners traversed the expanding warp network looking for res deposits. This drove them closer and closer to the galactic core, where res deposits became richer and richer. The growing number of isolated colonies became unmanageable. As the unique ecologies of each discovered planet intermixed through trade, potential pandemics became a concern. The United Terran Alliance was formed to control interplanetary contamination. They moved to heavily restrict gate access. Military blockades began to screen all trade ships traveling between gates, attacking any unregistered ships that attempted to use them. Oh no. For a time, the UTA was able to maintain control, but they soon crumbled under the weight of rapid expansionism and bureaucracy. Unable to manage their fleets and borders, the military hierarchy collapsed. Uh oh. Without central leadership, 
the UTA fleets dissolved into a series of isolated subcells that rarely communicated or traveled beyond local space. Hmm. Each military subcell now struggles to control their systems by whatever laws they see fit to implement. Oh dear. Despite the enforced isolation, rogues continue the gold rush while refugees amass hidden away from the UTA's eye. They survive within the vast junk fields of an abandoned Earth. There they build a massive flagship named the Clockwork. With it, they intend to travel to the galactic core in search of a legendary mother load of rares. And that's us. We are the Space Pirates. And I believe, yes, this is how the dialogue is going to be for most of the game. Uh, I'm just going to go through it pretty quickly, and you can pause if you want to read it, but I've already read most of this. Once we get to the later game, I'll uh, probably read it out loud, maybe, because I haven't actually gotten that far. And... Oh, no! Well, that's not too good. More dialogue. Well, apparently they, uh, they blew up. Very interesting. So now it's just the tutorial. It's actually a pretty long tutorial. It can probably last about 40 minutes. Be a couple episodes at least, I think. It's this your default tiny, tiny ship. This one's actually free. Because later in the game, if you lose a ship and you don't have enough money to rebuild it, they want you to be able to do something to get some res, which you use to build more ships. And right now I have to go fetch a certain part over here so we can repair part of the ship. So let's do that. It's a fun little game. The controls are kind of weird though, I think. Like the movement controls. Pressing WASD moves you relative to the front of your ship, which is relative to where your mouse is pointed. You can see if I move the mouse around, the ship automatically turns. But uh, if I'm facing down and I press D, it moves me to the left. Uh, is that left? Yeah, that's left. <laughs> My bad. It's just kind of weird, but you get used to it pretty quickly. So I get to return the part to the mothership now. Oh no, they lost all the liquor. And now we get to space travel. Looks like we're gonna go to this res mining station. Where I think we're probably gonna mine some res. Oddly enough. Also, there's some interesting little doodads in the background there. If you keep an eye, you can find some pretty funny stuff. Maybe you should read this. Moonburger. Interesting. Oh, cock. Subliminal messages. Yummy moo moo. Eh. I guess we'll have to find another sign. Oh, here we go. Giant mining station shooting a very dangerous mining laser beam at me. So that they can mine some res. How nice. Such a warm welcome. Well, you can, uh, you can mine res by shooting these asteroids. It's not too complicated. You can do it with most weapons, I find. But the one I have right now is specifically a mining laser, so it's horrible in combat. But uh, you can see over here, we have our cargo. It's 10 out of 10 right now, full of res. And we move back to the warp gate over here to uh, send it back to our ship. What's it called again? I think the clockwork. And just say no to zombies. Foreshadowing. Interesting. Alright, and up at the top left you can see our uh, our resources. We've got data, which is basically experience. We've got goons, which is kind of like personnel. Yes, goons. Lovely, isn't it? I believe that was intentional. And we've got res, which is kind of like the most standard form of currency. It's the one we'll be using more than any other, I'm sure. <clears throat> Although you can use goons as currency. Sort of. You can convert them into currency. But alright, we've got all our res now. We've got enough to build an extra ship. 
and it looks like they discovered a new design, so we can go into the hangar. I sure hope you're paying attention. There will be a quiz after. Oh no, not a quiz. Anyway. Just kind of showing you the basics there of customizing ships. I already know how it works though. So we've got a new ship hull available, so let's go ahead and change to our hull. Right now our hangar can only support tiny ships and small ships that will be upgraded later. No worries. This ship has two weapon slots, apparently. Looks like they're both lasers. Lasers are awesome. And we can build another one. Now notice this hole, this, excuse me, this hangar can only support tiny ships. It, it, you can tell by the little dots over here. The more dots it is, the bigger the ship, obviously. And uh, whenever we go to build a new ship, we don't have the option to build larger ones. So uh, we'll just go ahead and build both of these ships. We have just enough res, because we, uh, you know, mined it. The ship's going to warp out, and the other one should warp in, and then this one should warp in later. And it's still going out. Right? All right, there it goes. And there's a new one. All right, yes, our fleet is slightly less pathetic now. Uh-oh. Oh no, the, the the weird guy, the hillbilly, is uh wants us to do something for him. I sure hope you're paying attention. There will be a quiz after. See so, yeah, how you can switch between ships with the number keys. And if one of them blows up, you can easily rebuild it just by pressing the number key in the middle of the uh, the fight that blew it up. So I guess those guys wanted us to go dock. Also notice, the ship has more health, but it has a considerably smaller hold. Black market? What? Yeah, so you can, uh, you can spend res to buy extra parts that you wouldn't normally get. It's always a good idea to do that. So we've got a top secret mission for pirate's eyes only. It doesn't sound too top secret, but okay. They want us to go, uh, destroy some crap, I think. Vandalism! What else are space pirates good for, am I right? Looks like we're going to Saturn. And yes, you do start in the, the soul system. Oh, apparently they're not here. Alright, we got the tactical system now. I don't know why they gave it to me at this point, because it's basically useless. I can't use it to destroy these crates, so... I'll just select my other ship and tell it to follow me. Okay, it's already is. So he'll just kind of stay on my wing right now for a while. And what the heck? What is this? Looks like data is just lying around. How strange. Looks like these civilian ships are destroying stuff with me. So yeah, when you destroy enemy uh, ships, or in this case, crates, because, I don't know, I guess that's the mission, they'll drop data, which is like experience, as I said earlier. Once you have enough, you can level up and spend some research points, which you should see in just a few minutes. There we go. Maybe you should read this. Maybe I should read this, but I already did, so it's okay. So now we can go to the research page, and we can upgrade stuff. I'm gonna upgrade beams because I love beams. I sure hope you're paying attention. I'm also gonna upgrade reactors because I love reactors. And I'm gonna upgrade cannons, but I really don't like them that much. I find they're mostly useless in the early game, at least. Though, don't get me wrong, I haven't played much at all. I've played about an hour this game. Counting the time I've already been playing here. So we'll just go ahead and destroy the rest of these crates, why not? Looks like there are two of them left, shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully we're not missing too much data, but we can get more later, so it's fine. Pew pew! Ah, almost missed it there, didn't I? Little tiny crate, doesn't count. Still fun to blow them up. I'm not sure why those other big crates don't count. What is this? Oh. Little explosive crates, it looks like. 
Not maybe not explosive, but they do go boom. Which is always fun. Of course. Oh, what am I doing? Alright. Okay, looks like UTA ships have come up. Now, in the early game, they portray UTA like the bad guys, but they're really not. They're just kind of like, you know, misguided militia. But you really can't fault them for that. Anyway, alright, here we go. First glimpse of combat. Now, we've got to just shoot this ship until it blows up, but you have to be careful because you can accidentally destroy these civilian ships. Oh, there we go. Just got 25 data, I think. No, that can't be right. It has to have been 10. It's kind of cool. Whenever a ship gets, like, really damaged, it'll, like, just turn around and start running away. Oh, there it goes. Ah, oh, I didn't make it, though. <laughs> and, uh, if it runs away, if you do let it run away, it'll just kind of, like, heal itself. Alright, looks like we captured a crewman. Some dialogue. This dude's threatening to throw him out the airlock. She doesn't think he should. This guy agrees with her. I sure hope you're paying attention. There will be a quiz after. Oh, I hate quizzes. Alright. It's kind of funny. Sometimes whenever you capture a goon, which are those escape pods, they'll refuse to join you, and a few seconds later you just see something getting thrown out of the airlock. It's kind of hilarious. Oh, which reminds me. We don't have enough room for this goon, so what should we do with it? Let's shoot it! Oh look, there's a person in space. We could shoot him, actually. Well, we didn't do it in time, but he would have turned into a uh, splatter of blood. It's quite amusing. Anyway, laser weapons, as the one we currently have equipped, are very good against shields. But I find they're also pretty good against hulls. Alright, looks like we got them. And we leveled up again, so we can upgrade some other stuff. I'm going to upgrade beams a little bit more, because I like beams. Also, I think I will upgrade shields a little bit, because shields are very important. Alright, now we can click system map, close that silliness. We can go over here. It's another mission. Alright. Looks like we have to destroy the rogue miners. Interesting. Oh no, this guy has a missile ship. Shooting missiles at me, man. Alright, this is interesting. Whenever you destroy ships that you haven't that you don't already have, can't make them, they'll drop black boxes, and if you pick up enough of their black boxes, you can make the ship. We've just unlocked one of these ships, the grasshopper. It's a pretty small ship, I don't think it's better than the ones we have right now. But uh, I'll check it out later, just so you can see. I'm nice like that. Oh, there's another guy. Oh no, missiles. Missiles are strong against hulls, but they're really not very good against shields. And if I'm not mistaken, cannons are kind of like an in-between. They're not really good against shields, but they're not really great against hulls either. I think they're better than lasers are against hulls. Oh, there we go. Got a new ship. Oh. Oh no, this ship looks a little bit bigger than us. Could it be a slightly larger ship? I think it just might be. If you look in the top left corner, you will see my ship's health and shields and such. Well, if you look in the top... Wait, no. Did I say top left? Well, the top left, that's my stuff. On the top right, whenever I'm targeting a ship, that's their crap. Huh. I wish this ship had a bigger cargo hold. We can't even pick up those blue ones, because those are five, and we can only hold two. Although, we could shoot them, and they'll become smaller. But you will lose some in the process. Makes sense. Wait. No one can survive. In space, no one can hear you be... I don't know, vaporized. Alright, anyway. 
we finish that mission, I think we'll do one more. And then it'll probably be time to end the video. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's not right. Alright, hangar. We unlocked a new ship type. And this comes with a, uh, a pulse cannon, but I really don't like those weapons. I prefer beam weapons. So we're gonna refit the ship. Now that ship's this ship here is gonna fly away. I'll take control of the other ship until the new one gets here. It's being built right now. Whoa, nice. That research launched right into the uh, the what you call it warp gate. Oh, now I can take over the bigger ship. It doesn't have more firepower, but it's got more health. It's got a uh, extra slot for utility, which right now I think it is a tractor beam, which allows me to pull stuff in like that. Normally, I'd have to fly over it if I didn't have a tractor beam. All right, looks like we're destroying all enemy ships. Oh, there's one down. Oh, there's another one down. And we leveled up. Oh no, that looks like a new ship. There it goes. That was a new ship. A boomerang, huh? And I think that's the last ship. Nope, got more. Dang. Oh, another boomerang. I'm gonna kill it so I can steal its black box. Maybe make them for myself. Yep, we can unlock it now. Interesting. Oh, notice this here, that's an explosive barrel. If you shoot it, it will do damage to anything next to it. Alright, looks like we are done with that mission. And it looks like the timer is not too happy with me. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this. And I will cut off the recording now. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.